All right, let's take a look at it, the heater itself. We put it at 95 right now, and it is burning up right now. If you guys can see it, it is going, getting hot. But the 95 is to the 95 in the room, not the actual heater. So the heater can go higher than 95, if you guys can see that. So very simple, I'm using the control here, and you can see the heater. Now I'm gonna actually tell the heater to move around, and we can start swaving it, right? And this is gonna heat up the whole entire room. Um, I like the size of it because anywhere you can use this in your office, you can use this in your RVs, you can use it anywhere and it has a tilt mechanism. So if it tilts over, it turns off easily. Uh, the buttons, if you lose the controller, you can always access the system without the controller through the top too. So right now we're gonna go ahead and turn it down. We're gonna turn it, change it to less than that. We're gonna go probably 70 right now, if you guys can see that. I'm turning it down and you're gonna see the heat temperatures drop too. But the system itself, it is really comfortable, self-explained, easy to use. And if you don't want to heat, you can always just use the air too. So that's another option. You could put timer on it. That's the best thing about it. You could put the timer. So let's go ahead and continue reviewing. All right, right now we're about 40 but I'm talking right now, so we're gonna go and do a, an audio test. And right now, automatically turns off when you go below the degrees. We're gonna say we want a little hotter than this. We're gonna say 50. And, or you know what? Let's go to 65 or 66. And then it's gonna start up automatically, Fahrenheit. That's how hot we want it in this room. And we're gonna see how hot this thing, uh, how loud it gets. So let's go ahead and start that. But let's go ahead and start the thing. We're gonna go to the maximum level, all right? For about 70 on that one, so that's the loudest it gets. And then we're gonna turn it down. Instead of equal, we're gonna say air, fan. This is the fan only. Eco drive to save energy, all right? And then we're just gonna turn it down a little bit. If we just want the fan itself, we can do that. I'm using the remote control to do everything. So we're gonna do the fan. We're gonna do fan only. Let's go back to fan. There's a fan. Fan only. And we're gonna sway, we can move around with it. If we wanna just move it throughout the air. This is just air. There's no heat on this one. It's just extremely, and it gets hot fast if you want the heater, but right now it's just air. It's We're using it as a fan. Uh, same functions you have on your remote. You have them on the top. Same functions. Exactly the same functions on the remote. You have them on the top. But look at the beautiful part of this. It's moving left to right. Heating up the place. It's not that loud. Even with the fan, it's about, you know, 40 to 60. That's the maximum. In fact, let me hold it for you guys. That's because I'm really close to it. But if I'm like away from it. And the closer you get, of course, the louder it gets. But all the functions, the LED display, beautiful, I like that stuff. So one thing I forgot to mention that this thing has a grip on the back. So you could grab it from the back. Don't grab it from the front when it's hot. You can move it anywhere. The tilt mechanism, it tilts over. It turns off automatically. Um, if you're gonna carry in a car in an RV, it's very necessary or taking it out on the road with you It's a must so very compact Easy to carry around. I hope you guys enjoy the video